Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Caledonai Let's Play for Rome 2's Empire Divided. And we already met the victory conditions in the last episode, but I do have a couple of other things I'd like to do to finish up this campaign. And plus, this is part 30, so to finish at part 30 is very nice. But this campaign will be replaced with an Ancient Empires campaign. Uh, I believe it's scheduled to come out on May 16th or May 18th. And we will be playing as Macedon. So if that's something that seems of interest to you, do stick around for that. But uh, take a look at our empire. If you look at the mini-map down here, I've just run right through the Saxon territories. Pretty much took all of it without a fight. They do have a few armies over here in the ocean way way up in this corner they're just taking loads of attrition but that is the reason that i've left this army over here just in case that does happen our income is way down because we do have quite a bit of armies kind of m mulling around but you can see my income also a lot of these settlements just have not been built up enough so we've got 77 gold here 32 gold 19 uh, 62 so they just really haven't been built up enough but I've also got some slums here, which is affecting my public order. But we're going to be moving in against the uh, Saxons here. And, uh, oh, it looks like they just had taken that city, so I'm able to just walk right in, which is very nice. I don't have really a lot of money, so we're going to have to save it for the next episode, or the next turn, rather. But they've got some territory over here that we're going to take out. Basically, the objectives on today's uh, agenda are to get rid of the Saxons and to get rid of the Alemanni because uh, they have started to become a thorn in my side as well. Uh, they've got only this one major settlement over here left and uh, obviously this one in the center which we'll take care of in a second. But uh, yeah, I've got three armies over here which is a little bit excessive. I don't think I need that many so I'm going to bring bring this army into the water here. Public order is still okay. And we are building up over here, which is excellent. So let's actually bring this army down. We should be able to force march them in. And there we go. That holds that down. Let's go ahead and siege this settlement here. And it's a walk in the park, so we'll uh, just do balance stance. This is my best army, by the way. It has seen many battles. We'll occupy that. Rank 5 for this general. Excellent. And have we hit this for upkeep? Minus 5%. So that's going to save us a little bit of change. We've got the Alemanni uh, army over here, but we will move this army down next turn to take out that. Uh, maybe we'll actually go for that uh, with the army inside the city and then send this army in force march down to take care of that. But, uh, yeah, we're pretty much... It's going to be a pretty short episode, I think, because I just need to wrap up uh, what's left here. So let's actually go ahead and move you guys down to here. Very nice. And, yeah, you're kind of locking things down for now, I think, is all right for you guys to sit there. I've also got this army here. Don't really need it down here, so I'm going to go ahead and send it back up. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and declare war on the Alemanni. They've got an army here of 16 that are in force march, so we're going to see if we can try and uh, get a... What do you call those? An ambush battle. That's what I'm trying to think of. And then once we kill them off, we're going to move and take uh, Burgium from them. So it looks like we can level uh, up a few here. How expensive is this? 450 for one. Wow. Wow. No, I'm not going to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and declare war. Come, come. Let me hear your talk. They're allies of the Saxons. Yeah, I don't care about that. War. Already at war with them anyways. Boom. All right, so they do actually have quite a bit of cavalry, which can be a bit of a problem. I did want to fight this, but actually this is a really good... Uh, I'm just not going to be able to catch them with my uh, slower units. So, yeah, let's just auto-resolve this. And kill the captives. Did take some damage there, but not enough. And get rid of them again. 
I would have fought that, but since I don't have any cav in my army, it would have taken like 25 minutes of them just, you know, cycle charging me and then trying to run away again. Just would have been really annoying. There we go. So let's um, force march over right to here so we can still take some replenishment. And you've leveled up as well, so we'll give you that. And minus upkeep as well, so a little bit saved there. And yeah, look at this. 48 gold for this massive settlement here. Uh, the Saxon army did flee down this way, but it was taking attrition, so I don't really think it's going to be able to do too much. Let's move you over to here. Good, good, good. I think that's about it. We could establish trade with the Alemanni. Or, sorry, the Alani. Do they have two territories, really? See, they've got this territory. What other territory do they have? I think... I think that's it. That's all they have. Alamani have this territory. Bosporus. Oh, yeah, this is Bosporus, but they must have another one over here. Ah, I see. Okay, so yeah, I, I don't really want to go to war with them over that. Although we may head down that way anyways. But let's not dawdle. We can think about all this through the end turn phase. Sending my spy over, but there's really not much point. We'll see how... But we've already realized the victory conditions by a long shot. So there goes that army. It looks like the Saxons are continuing to try territories, so... But the Sassanids are very powerful. With them and their satrapies, uh, they are still stronger than I am. And I own half the world. Yeah, they're fleeing. Slums developing again, eh? Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, they left it just in time. That sucks. Okay. Let's get that in. Over here, let's get something in. Farm for them, because they're probably... struggling on food. Yes, they are. Over here as well, Dacia. Still need food, eh? Oh, no, they have food. Oh, it's just the public order, I see. Oh, but I can't get anything in there. Let's see if we can establish something with the Alani Welcome, to get some extra money. Welcome, friend. Let us break bread and drink ale before words pass our lips. Nice, okay. This agreement. That will help me out a little bit. So where was this? Let's get a mine there. Gonna have to destroy those, which is almost all of my money. And I had slums somewhere else. Here we need something. Okay, um... Just leave those for now. Let's get a mine there. I know that it's a uh, late game, but... Just to be sure, Salmatia. Wow, we got a lot of slums over here, too. So I can destroy one of them. Let's bring you down over here. Spania, we could build up, but no need right now. Go 
Good. Oh, actually, yeah. Let's stay up there. Because we're going to go in against Burjum. Take their capital from them after all this time. It's wide open. If we don't have a battle that's good at the end of this episode, we'll we'll find a good battle to end it on. Hopefully. Well done there. Yeah, can't convert that this turn, but still decently valuable. What I'm going to do here is actually get rid of all of you to get some extra income because I do not need that. And did that actually help with the income? Well, a little bit. It's got a little bit there. Uh, this is one of my generals, though, so I'm going to bring him up to here and take it from this general and then just dis disband that general so that I at least have one of my own here. Um, public order is amazing here, so let's come up this way. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, look at... Oh, man. We're just walking into these. I am ready. They're trying to take them, but then slums just develop and they can't hold on to them to do the public order issues, I think. So let's move you guys over here. You are just under control, although... Does that affect public order? No, it's just 100 wells, so that should be fine. Dang it, this faction took that. And what is this faction? Lydia. What? I don't know where Lydia came from, but... And apparently I'm untrustworthy now. But the assassin is still like us. Look at the power, though. So much power. Alright, so the, yeah, the Saxons are down to, looks like, one settlement over here. Or actually, no, they've got two. So let's come, come down over this way with this army. Yeah, we're going to be striking at that next turn. Uh, we're going to have to uh, keep them here to lock down this province. But I kind of want to just go against that faction. We'll see. We'll see what happens in the next turn phase. They may get destroyed by the Sassanids anyways. Oh, the Saxons. Looks like they were going to come back in. All this hype that I put against the Saxons, but they crumbled very nicely. And Rome is still alive. They've got that one fleet there. Mercury and Plutus would shoot no, I'm coming after you. Why would I do that? These, like, little Roman states that are starting to develop here. Unrest in Dacia, riot in the capital. Yep. Stupid seahorse clans, but nothing but a thorn in my side since the beginning. Alright, so we can build something here. So let's get a commons building. Let's get rid of that slum. All this is looking pretty good. That's pretty much all my money. I cannot reach them this turn, though, unfortunately. But can I get from there to here? Yes, I can. All right, so let's just go to war with this faction here. No allies. Oh, this might be a good one to fight. Um, I mean, are we going to get better is the thing. Just got a bunch of sword band. Yeah, it's just ought to resolve that. I thought they may have had the garrison as well and a garrison fleet, but I guess they haven't built it up yet. Lydia trampled to the dust. 
And you... Melee skill for infantry. Yep, that sounds good. And you can come over here. Because we have no garrison there at the moment. Uh, actually, same at Nicomedia, though. And now I've got an income of 10,000 somehow. So how does that work? I must have been missing a lot of uh, my income due to banditry. Oh, okay, they've lost uh, that there now. Ah, okay, so they've come in here. So let's let's see here. Sabotage failed. Which one is the better? Oh, yes, with my good army. I think this would be a good spot to have our final battle here. Yeah, I think this is as good of a battle as we're going to get. So let's get a few more ladders. Or should we just go in now? Yeah, let's just fight this now. It's going to be the last battle, and we've got uh, our most elite army to do it for us. 2,800 very elite Caledoni. Well, not so elite. Our archers aren't that elite, but they are uh, gold chevron upgrades. Got a couple of sword band in the mix as well, but I'll see you guys on the battlefield. They say we will have a great victory today. Tonight, I trust we will all drink and get royally drunk. Get ready, men. <laughs> the last speech of this campaign, and what a good one. And look at my general as well. He's actually got a beautiful overlook on this uh, cliff face here of the city and the actual uh, army below. So he's going to supervise from up here. He has uh, served us well, this general, in many battles. He's one of my most elite generals. Uh, he will not have to move into the city this time. His men want him to have a little bit of a break. Uh, they can handle this on their own. So let's go ahead with it. I've got my most cheap units on the ladders. Uh, hopefully they don't get burned down. That would suck. But yeah, let's start moving them forwards. I'm also going to push my archers forwards as well to start harassing. And keep them off skirmish mode. With uh, these guys, let's slide them up just a bit. Same with the cavalry. But I've really... An oh my goodness, what's going on over here? They're actually... Are they completely outside the city? They are. Well, this changes everything. over here guys quickly uh, we'll send these guys to help against the garrison forces and actually let's get two cavalry around this way general uh, I almost got my general killed good thing I looked at that see so, yeah, how they've got their entire fleet over here basically So yeah, let's line up our bows over here on this cliff face. Have our swords right here. Cavalry. Cavalry. Cavalry over here. Do they have anyone in the city? Yeah, they've got a few units. Where are all their units, though? We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. What is this? that Germanic band. Okay, yeah, they are all coming over here. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Let's move our spears over here. Okay, this looks like it could be a land battle of some sorts. Okay, flank around them. 
Yeah, it looks like most of them are coming this way. Okay, we formed up. Archers, come back. Got some dramatic band over here. Just looking for some easy, easy targets here. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Riders forward! Ready! Ready for battle! Let's try and go in against this one. Let's go in against this one. Nice charge there. You guys pull out. You guys should be able to shatter them. Lock this off so they cannot get past. Yeah, we shatter them. Excellent work. Okay, archers. Come to this overhang here. Let's go in with against the general's bodyguard here. How are we looking? No, climb. Yeah, climb the ladder, guys. All right. Let's charge against these guys. That's another general there. I think that's the fleet general. This is a very dynamic uh, battle, actually. Something we have not seen before, for sure. Ooh, my ready. cavalry getting hit Indeed. pretty hard there. Turn around, hit this Germanic band, please. Yes. Our hidden units have been discovered. How we looking over here? Britons. Painted warriors, get in there. Help your spear brethren out. Okay, my men are breaking inside the settlement, which is a bit of a problem, but. Nothing we can do about that. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. Here we go. Getting some men across. Let's pull out my cab. They're taking a bit of bit of casualties there. An entire unit has perished. Oh, can you target though them? Target them right in the back. So there you go. Pick them apart. Excellent. Cavalry broke them over here. Let's head back this way. This cavalry is getting destroyed by this sword man. Looks like this is the main battle over here. The general... Yes. I don't know which one that is, though. But regardless, uh, we're definitely gaining the upper hand in this in this battle. All right, you guys get into the city here. Fighting axe warriors over here. Yeah, probably gonna lose these guys. Nice volley into the back of the axe warriors there. All right. Looks like we've wrapped most of them up, so let's get our archers over here now. General still surveying from his vantage point. Our men flee the field of battle. This cavalry is line display. up there. Let's hide this unit of cavalry in the trees because they are very weak. And yeah, you guys just come on back. So yeah, very desperate uh, attack here with the entire fleet of the Alemanni. Uh, they did deplete a few of our numbers, which is good. Uh, looks like both my sword band actually died, but they are from inside the city. But now that I've got my painted warriors coming in, it's pretty much game over for them. Sword band. Hold, swordsman, hold. Oh, I've got one unit of sword band over here. Yeah, painted warriors, get them. Kill these peasants. 
who dared to call themselves our ally. And that just double-crossed us by leaving us in the Saxons. Looks like I've got some units coming up over here as well. Start taking these gates. Actually, come save your brothers in arms over there. Spearmen, come capture the gates. Oh, is it too late? Yeah, fortunately it's too late. That's alright though. Spears go to the center. See a unit of spear levy that have shattered. I think that's the battle. There we go. Close victory. A little bit sloppy there, uh, but nonetheless a very good battle to end the series. There we go. So yes, unfortunately losing one of our units of swords and our sword band, but we will occupy that settlement there. And there goes the Alamani, trampled into the dust. Warriors all. And yeah, we can't really replace any of that, but there's really no need anyways. Let's go ahead and level that up for them. You guys can come back over to here, because yeah, that other army disappeared. So I think it's just the Saxons left. This one settlement over here, which I'll have to figure out how I'm going to get to. Got the Saxons there. How can I get to this settlement right there I can I'll have to trespass a little bit but ah it's end game no worries okay let's uh, end the turn oh that's right Let's give them all to him. We'll disband that other guy next turn. Start sending him home. Looks like the Allen's starting to take a bit of attrition. I wonder if they lost their... <laughs> the Saxons over here just holding out as best they can. I hope that uh, they just get squashed. Oh, what? Did they defeat the Armenians? No way. Did that army seriously hold them off? I can't believe that. Mission successful. Oh, wow. So we got 16 grand there. Hold the following settlement, Rome, so we'll get a massive boost to our economy next turn. Um, you can be disbanded, don't need you. And uh, yeah, you can just come back down here. And can we, can we move out of it, this? We can. Alright, um, come get rid of Rome. Sick of them just running around like that. Let's double time it actually to get there quicker. And over here, did they. They held against the Armenians. Wow. That is pretty annoying. Let's uh, come out with this army here. Yeah, completely. Completely weakened by attrition because they don't hold enough cities to field the um, or to supply their armies. So yeah, you can head back. Um, so yeah, we can build a decent amount here. Let's get rid of that. Convert that. Yellow building in. Oh, we already got a yellow building. Uh, that's for the brine distiller, so let's grab that. Convert that.
Guess another yellow building? Let's get the chieftains hold here. And sure, they would want a little bit more food. Get these up to level two. Uh, level two for there. Putting in a yellow building. Very nice. So that's pretty much all our funds right then and there. But I just want to get a hold of this last... Oh, they've lost their last settlement, have they? So how are the Saxons not dead? It's because they have that one, one more army down there. Yes, they're down to that last army. So you guys can just head over to here. No, 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 no. Don't trespass, though. You fools. Can I reach them this turn? Not quite. They should get squashed next turn, I think. Hopefully. Let's see what happens. But we might as well get rid of Rome as well. And just have us and the Sassanids. Yep, there it is. Goodbye, Saxons. Your empire was great while it lasted, but... Oh, thank you very much for sending them much closer to me. I really appreciate that. Mission successful. There we go. Another 24k in the bank. See, so yeah, another yellow building there is fine. Didn't say faction destroyed, though. Where are they still holding out? Oh, dang it. Right. Forgot about that. Hail to the mother. How can I help? Attack! This is a pretty solid force. Not a lot of archers, but yeah, we've got to go up and get rid of them. Crap, I forgot about that, that they were hiding over there. That's like what I used to do in Age of Empires uh, back when I was a kid. I would just put my king on a transport ship and hide him in the corner of the map so that no one could find him. And then they wouldn't be able to defeat me. Alright, Rome, come on. Don't run away. Yes. Goodbye, Romans. With the help of the assassin and garrison as well. Take a long look, lads as a once great empire sinks into the dust. Lost 110 men in that? Is there, nothing there we else? go, Rome is destroyed. Looks like new naval traditions here. It's melee attack, the support probably would have been better, but again, ah, late game. No, let's not do that. Let's get a horn maker. Uh, yeah, that can go to level two. Storage pit there. Actually, we could just leave that. I'm looking into this way too much. Grind distiller, that can go up. Yeah, you can go to level two. What to spend with all of my money? Get 
two of those. It'll help with the banditry reduction. Storage pit there. Nope, not that one. Sicily is a booming metropolis now. Oh, there we go. We can get some more food there. Let's give you the tribal opium. Or, <laughs> Tribal uh, opidum, not opium. Uh, chieftains hold there. And that. Storage pit. Oh, let's convert that to cows. Chieftains hold there. And that is it. End the turn. Oh! Unassigned skill. Yeah, for my champion. He's the one that's actually helping to level up all of these uh, to gold chevrons. Can we... No, that's maxed out, looks like. Just give him some cunning. Oh, thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't split up and make it harder for me to catch you, please. Missing taxes, rotten food doesn't that all doesn't even matter anymore but yeah back up to 12k for my finances where did that other one go fleet ready steady as we go where did that go it's like hidden somewhere let's just upgrade all of my purple buildings. The ones that aren't upgraded. Nope, you've already got that, so you need the banditry reduction building. You can upgrade as well. Thracia. New mine can be upgraded. Oh, that's like all my money. Bronze workshop there. Good. Another end turn. I will not end this campaign until I catch those Saxon navies. At this point, it is perfectly acceptable for them to just suicide. Just bring your depleted navy to one of my garrisons in a desperate hope to take it back and just die honorably. Don't run around the entire map. Takes so many turns to get up here. Closing, my lord. Spania can be opened up. Um, no, I don't need that actually. Let's get that. They already have a purple building. They've got two of these, so we'll convert that.
Oh, and that can be up to the spring. Alright guys, oh, two more turns. I hope that other army comes back. But if I do have to chase these fleets down, I might just uh, cut it out until I can catch it. But what I'm thinking of doing is this is actually a really good one for me to save the file. Uh, granted, I save all of my campaign uh, game files. But if any of you guys would like to play from where I left off and try to go for world domination, take on the mighty Sassanid Empire, uh, just send me an email and I can send you the save file so that you guys can play it yourself. Uh, you just have to put it, obviously, into your save game file. And make sure, obviously, that you do have Rome 2 Empire Divided, because otherwise it will not work. But, yeah, it could be interesting. If any of you... Trade, for sure. Come on. Your orders? So close. So very close. I'm taking attrition now out here. Ugh. Hail to the mother. How can I Stupid Saxons. Yeah, so right here is where I left off. So let's get that. Uh, we have three here. That is not necessary. So, Tarakinesis, I'll remember that. Get a storage pit there. Mineral spring. You guys are still struggling with food, eh? Because that's minus food, I guess. Just delete that and put a storage pit in then. That'll give a little bit more food. Alright, end the turn. I wonder how many armies the Sassanids have. Uh, it, they must be at maximum Imperium, I'd imagine, but we are also at maximum Imperium, so they would have probably the same amount that we do. The only problem is is that they're allied with Media and Bactria and the Sabatan and the Maskit and uh, Armenia, so we're like dealing with multiple, multiple problems here. Sure, go ahead. And it uh, looks like we got something. Don't know what we were researching, but... Not that it really matters. Back up to the Saxons. I live to serve the people of oh my goodness. Put your backs into it! <laughs> yeah, we're going to take so much attrition, it actually might be a battle worth fighting. Alright, let's go back to uh, Tarkinesis. And get a Chieftain's Hold, another yellow building for the Storage Pit. And I deleted one somewhere else, too. That can be upgraded. There we are. So, yeah, we wanted a storage pit in here, too. So, you guys need your two. Oh, this kind of needs upgraded quite a bit, actually. Alright, last turn. And then if I still have to run down that second force, I'll make a cut. And then once I catch them, 
I'll bring it back to you. But I'm hoping that they're not going to just yank my chain like that and make me run around the entire map trying to f catch them. But they really, really want to survive, so I guess they've got spirits still. Yeah, so Media, Armenia, that faction, Bactria. Uh, this next faction, Sakistan, Masked. Yeah, they've got a ton of... They've got a ton of... What is this? Oh, yes, they've been destroyed. There we go, guys. That finishes it there. So what happened up here, then? Did they just, like, take too much attrition, or...? I love how they make me take hundreds of casualties coming out here and then just... Just finish <laughs> finish themselves off afterwards. But, yeah, that is where I'm going to leave it, guys. So hopefully you did enjoy this campaign. If you take a look at the size of our empire, uh, if we zoom out as much as we can, quite substantial. And, like, the only other one I would really go after is Numidia. Um, but if you take a look at the Sassanids, their empire, not as big as mine, but with uh, their their vassals here. They've got five vassals uh, which make up the territory that you see. So Bactria really spread out here. Armenia uh, Armenia is only down to a few so they're not that strong. Uh, Media has got a little bit of a presence there. Looks like we've got some factions uh, down here that aren't really friendly with the Sassanids. But uh, the, Al the Alani up here might be a good expansion point for uh, you guys if you did want to use the save file um, as well as Numidia. But yeah, we pretty much conquered most of the known world. And everybody in the world now does know uh, about the Caledonite tribes. So thanks very much for watching, guys. As I said, on May 18th, uh, you will see the start of a new Macadon campaign. So stay tuned for that. But for right now, hopefully you guys did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.